Ladies and gentlemen and others, I am Mega Man NG, and I welcome you to a little something special for you guys. This is pretty much a little showcase of a little game called Salt and Sanctuary. Yeah, this is Salt and Sanctuary. It's pretty much a 2D version of Dark Souls. And it's something I can enjoy. I would like to specifically thank the developers for providing me the, a copy of this, as well as a Twitter user named Indie Gamer Chick. Which, yeah, it turned out I DNF'd. And they, it was like a limited rare code for this, so I'm here to show off the game and what it's all about. We're going to be starting a new game. And let's give us our new name for this. May as well be Destiny, since I kind of like it. And what's making it interesting is that, yes, you can customize your character however you like. You can have it be male, you can have it be female. Not to mention different hairstyles as well. There's like so many different combinations of hairstyles that you could customize your character however you like. And that's what I like about it, because there's so many opportunities. You can choose to be simple, you can choose to be complex, you name it. And you can also customize the colors too. And there's also eye color, origins, like there are different origins of where you'll be coming from. Uh, for the purpose of this, we'll be in Cadania. And you also have character classes. You have the knight, you have the mage, paladin, thief, chef, that's even weirder, cleric, pauper, hunter, but for the sake of things, I will have to no choice but to use a knight. Because I kind of like it. And there's also effects such as red shard, stone cell sword, amber idol, grasping ring, and crystal spear. I like red shards, and it's time we venture forth. And there's none challenges whatsoever. Time to venture on our journey! This world has known war for centuries. But peace is finally preciously near. We deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea, where a marriage alliance would save us all. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. And that's us. You move with the analog stick, you can block, you can dodge roll, yeah it's pretty much Dark Souls pretty much. Regular attacks to your square, every attacks lunge, you name it. Ow, you there, stranger! We've been boarded in the night. They'll they'll want to keep our our lady, ransom her. And then this happens. So now we have bad guys to take down. You can also jump with the X button too. And it's turning out to be an all-out melee. Better hurt. Yeah. Oh, really? As if. Much better. What has happened? Not all of it is good. This right here is the unspeakable deep. I like how the boss fights would just tell you. And we die. Don't worry, it's a scripted fight. Failing this mission would surely plunge us in the darkest of days. I woke to the sound of waves washing our rock, and I knew I was alive. I must find the princess. Right off the bat, we knew something's up. We have reached the shivering shore. Well, hello there. You're just a fleshy bit of floatsome. Watch the show of the rest of us, hmm? You want shelter, you want sanctuary. But what is a sanctuary without faith? There's an ancient sanctuary up the beach. You can claim it for your creed. Tell me, do you keep the new gods? Yes. Most men follow the three deities. The king, the knight, and the judge. 
The king lends wisdom to men who lead. The knight protects warriors in combat. And the judge guides those who maintain order. Are you a follower of a three, then? You're a follower of a three, as I suspected. Here is a candelabra of a three, icon of your creed. Oh, that's something. Square wall will be blocked to parry. Yeah. The square is also used to hold to attacks, too. R2 is to roll. Like that. Really? Yep, that's pretty simple enough. Now we get the key to the sanctuary. L1 is to switch loadouts. You have sword and shield, and two-handed, and you can switch between them at any time. Right, at, right button on the D-pad switches to items. R1 is to use said item. Like that. The options menu is to view your inventory, which is your character. You're level 3 and you don't have much in terms of strength, endurance, dexterity, willpower, magic, and wisdom. I wonder if there's any others we haven't seen. And yeah, this game's rather interesting. It's Dark Souls, but in a more of a 2D plane. And thus we claim Sanctuary for the Three Kings. And you can do three things. You can either level up your character, which you need more salt. Makes sense. There's also the Tree of Skill, where you can actually customize your character however you want. For now, we are the Class 1 Sword Fighter with Fortify with a Class 1 Heavy Armor. And yeah, you can purchase skip and yes, you can purchase skills, but they require like cost. And there's also a make offering, and sadly we have nothing to offer. And it's time we venture on. And yeah, this game emphasizes a lot in terms of exploration. And we get a pouch of salt as well as... Yeah, you need the salt in order to level up. This is dark salt. Okay, so what good is that gonna be? And enemies are about. Okay. Alright, we got another pouch of salt. And the more salt we get, the closer we can get to leveling up. Spirit be with you. And now we start with the festering banquet. Well, yeah, I like how the game heavily emphasizes what it's spawn. It also leads to some interesting combinations of attacks. I like that personally. Oh my, come on, why can't I just? Walk down the steps. There you go. More red shards. Now 
And that's another bundle of salt. And so we now have enough salt to level ourselves up. Do I have a long fall? And a potato. What are we gonna do with a potato? Now we also got torch and throwing daggers. The bell of return, get off me! Cards. So useless. He's not dealt with him. What the? Yeah, that's right. Racked. And I did have some experience with this game, but not as much. Because, truthfully, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Looks like I gotten some gear. All right, looks like I've gotten some rogue gear. What really does make me look different? And they got Granado. AKA grenades. Enjoy the fall, pal. And a bandage ring. Deuces wounding effect. Hey, right, so why did I throw the potato though? That long fall certainly was worth it. And it now serves the place where I can rest up. And it also refills my red flasks. Yep. It has Dark Souls mentality this game. Is good. <laughs> and this is the first boss, the Soden Knight. was a fall if I've ever seen one. Oh dear.
Not good. Gotta be careful. Oh no. And yeah, dead. Return to this location, slay your, slay your killer, eat your salt. And yes, you get revived, but it costs money. Not, you end up losing. Won't stop me from trying. Not to face him again. And this time we beat him. Just gotta watch out for his attacks. And we regain what we lost. Can't be this difficult, right? Really, you missed. Well, that's not what I had in mind. Wow. How did you miss? Oh dear. Oh man. Wow, really? I died twice against him. <sighs> well, that's a bummer. I gotta beat him down yet again. <sighs> yes, we get it. I'm not giving up on you, you little clown. Here we go. Yeah, done and done. The Sword and Knight has been defeated. Consider him vanquished. We obtained the ashes and acquired a fortress key. At least I can put that behind me. But yep, this is Dark Souls, all right. Now we can head out. Greetings, traveler. You have a quest? Yes. Rescuing a princess, hmm? I haven't seen any princesses, but don't lose hope, friend. Anyway, it's good to have a quest. Would you like to know what my quest is? Excellent. 
My quest is to invade that castle to the east, defeat its guardians, and slay the dragon. Castles must be invaded and dragons must be slain, mustn't they? Well, that's actually kind of true. And we get a black pearl. Now an X is to drop down. Why must I waste time with birds? Birds suck. At least that went pretty well. We get a pitchfork. Now our next destination is the Bandit's Pass. Hello, Traveler. You're a stranger to the Vara's Light, are you not? Yeah. We are pilgrims of the Goddess Devara, illuminator of all. Without light there is nothing. It is said, in darkness chaos dwells. And in chaos there is no hope. Every night the sun sets, and we see her light flicker, in candles, in torches. But the dawn of the next day is her blessing. Chaos is quelled. Order is restored. At least that's a pretty good one, and now we can use it to level ourselves up. Well, let's level up to level 6. Because if we're going to get stronger, it's the only way we're going to survive. And now that we have black pearls, we can take the opportunity to level up, our, level up ourselves. And we can use a Black Pearl to boost up our defenses and everything. And our stats. With strength and endurance. There's so much you could do, so many combinations, it's just nuts. Now I wish to focus on the strength side of things. And those Bell of Returns, they serve as also a bit of teleportation. I should just worry about it later and just move on. The Bandit's Pass is going to be on the whole slew of trouble. Yeah, this is where the hard stuff comes. Really? at it. Good. Look up. Look up. Prayer. I am already am looking up. I'm not going to take that risk. No way. Yeah. 
Get off! We got a stone guide. Light, ve light vessel and a spirited neck. Okay, good. Really? You don't say, man. Seriously? Maybe I should try using a different approach. Yep, you need prayer. Yep, now I can be able to wheel a bow. Good. At least we got a bag of salt and some arrows back. And we get flame arrows. What? Maybe we should equip that. Well, well, well. Looks like this is the end of the road for you, friend. If memory serves you right, the obelisk here is your door into the castle. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with that obelisk? The key, however, now that's a different story. Perhaps you should search the area below those seaside ruins, where a forgotten feast festers. That should probably be the next leg of our journey. And an infantry poleaxe. Maybe I should try a pitchfork. Oh, I see. It's a secondary weapon, but it can actually serve as a long range gun. Okay, now at least I got a torch locked in. Yeah, because I wasn't gonna find out, I wasn't gonna see. Alright, good. Let's just equip what we can get.
No, it's no elevator. At least that elevator ain't taking me down. Stone cell sword. Half hour so far, and it's still getting me interested. May as well use it on a pouch. Yeah, to be honest, it's just that game like this, I have a hard time trying to figure out what's going on. And it's like a maze in some cases. Okay. Don't say. Come on, are you gonna do this to me now? Yeah, that did it. And these guys are liver poison. And we're back at the Shivering Shore. May as well make our offers. Made it to level eight. Care to browse my wares? This island is a cold and mysterious place. I miss the bustling markets of Ashana. The wall with Tristan was quite profitable for me. Those were the days. My belly is fit to quiver just thinking about it. Yeah, but that's too expensive. Come back soon. I don't even have enough. Yeah, I'm pressing X and nothing's happening. 
only be that easy. This is Dark Soul. Okay. That's not pretty helpful. Had enough. Alright, let's see what this next area. This is the village of smiles. I got this feeling that there's a trap. And that's what I thought! Trap ahead. As if I was warned. Oh jeez. Nah. I'm not gonna die. Damn. I am not dead yet. And that did it. And I got a lot of soul out of it too, along with the bell of return. Okay, now I gotta figure out... Really? Don't say. Alright, I got a pound of salt and a lock of hair. Wait, what am I supposed to do with hair? Quite ridiculous. I mean, I'm really seeing how curious this game can be. And I also like how different weapons can provide you different advantages. For example, this! Using a pitchfork as a weapon. Works for me, I guess. Really? I hate that. Bottle of salt. Heal up fast. It's like these guys are asking for trouble. May as well move on for now, because I don't even know what to expect. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Oh my, oh my. This is bad. On. Come on, you're not going to take me down. I'm not going to go down that easy. Mm. 
No! And I'm dead! Wish I knew about the traps beforehand. sacrifice your own salt to build up your gear. Oh, yeah. Why is that supposed to go this way? No, that's not the way. Oh yeah, the raider's harness makes you heavy. Yep, I knew it. This game really does micromanage a lot. What's this? the jump yeah jump is better it is better to jump than not doing anything careless move 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 back away Ed, Ed's been flying God! Ah, uh, I lost my salt. That's like 960 down the drain. Let's try it again. Wistful spirit, sad heart. And this time we don't fall for the trap. Oh, that's better. That's for making me lose all that salt, man. I mean, seriously. I'm already an hour in, I'm at level 8. There you are. You're the one! 
All right, 1,510 salt. So you're saying I actually got my salt just as I died? That's nuts. Hit the floor, Bob. Why are you in the way? Yeah, that gets rid of the crossbow guy. Okay. There. Oh, come. Why me? Why do I have such bad luck trying to dodge traps? Okay. Wow. He really is a dummy. Ow, seriously? And these knights are everywhere. I could take them on if you if I wanted to, but they require a lot of skill. Oh, I see. You just press the L2 button to block with your shield. Sorry, but I'm not here to play. Really? This is the Queen of Smiles. So that's boss number two. Thank God, I'm actually taking advantage of my abilities. Oh, good. I'm just mad nervous. This is nuts. I've never seen a boss fight this insane.
Yeah! Second boss wiped out! Good god, that was nuts. I mean it. This is crazy. Surprisingly, I didn't die. We're in the trophy, the village. And we also obtained the ear of the Queen of Smiles. Now, if only I can find a sanctuary. Rare yet. So we return to your most recently visited visit sanctuary. That's actually pretty impressive. And you know what? May as well. I think I've got so much salt. I need to get myself out of here and healed up. Ah, we're back. At least I lost. Him. No, no, no. Reach a level 11. I need to use some of the salt I have to upgrade my gear. But still, this was nuts. I still can't believe I was able to make it that far. Oh, yeah. Renewed will. I need more healing potions. And an increased dexterity. That's good enough. Let's upgrade the gear we already have. Now that's nice. Now it's the Van Varigan Spatha 1. Upgrading our plate mail to plate mail one. Yep, this game gives you a lot to micromanage with. I need more lock of hair to upgrade, but I guess this is good enough. He's good as he is. Weapon's a bit stronger, but I think we can manage it. Yeah, I'm gonna admit, this game is just really a lot of fun, but it just requires a lot more patience. Especially since you can be able to take down enemies rather. Like, the stronger you get, the better your gear is. Like, the more enemies you take down, the stronger you get, that sort of thing. I wonder if it means I could stand a chance. Good. This guy's following me? I'll give him credit. I'll give him a lot of credit. This guy can fall for what it's worth. And these are the watching... Really? 
Come on, man. Friend here. Ah. Uh. To try using the shield a bit more. Ah, uh, crimson gear. Seriously, bird brains are not even worth the trouble. Wow, that was a long fall if I've ever seen it. Get off! Oh no! That is draining me dry, the poison! Get off! How the heck did it fall me that fast? Not again! Oh, good. I made it out of there alive. I will use this to level up myself. Hurry! Okay, I'm gonna admit, I'll just stop here and say that yes, this game is not an easy one for sure. I mean it. You're gonna be putting a lot of your time and hard work in, and this game will probably do that. But yeah, Sultan Sanctuary is a rather challenging game. A game that requires you can be pretty much set up however you want. You can pretty much like decide however you want. You can choose to be like a warrior, a paladin, a mage, or anything like that. But this game is pretty good. And yeah, for what it's worth, it's a real challenge. But only those who are most diligent can be able to pull it off. I'm going to end it here and say that, yes, this is a pretty challenging game. I recommend it, and I hope you show some love to it. Buy the game, show your support to it. That's going to be it for this little showcase of Salt and Sanctuary. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me, and if you want to see more like this, watch support my channel. It really helps a lot, big time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.